Ready. Ready to fight. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a grand weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These Whoa! Oh! When you're in the clinch, you can now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, Cage is in a single power tie here. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice jab there by Covington. He's a guy who will wow you with pace and pressure, whether he's wrestling or straight. Yeah, it, it, it's his calling card, right? His calling card is for him to really dictate the pace, really push the pressure on you, and hope that his opponent will look under the pressure that he brings. He is all about that left kick to the body. So 31 total strikes have landed for Colby Covington. A lot of different... One takedown is easy to defend. When you start stringing them together is when guys struggle. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation... Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Put the pressure on. Get right in his face. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. 
both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Close guard, strong bottom work here, staying busy. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Covington's has got full mount now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do next. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. Nice hammer fist. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat. There he is. Yes, he does. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Beautiful. What a round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did and they both found success over the course of that round. That last round, he's winning the slugfest. That's the type of fight he wants. And let him think this last round is how it's gonna go. More on into the You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. So a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Nah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Covington. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his... Oh, and now the hip toss in a good position now to go out there. He did a great job of stepping all the way across to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 
Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He oh. didn't like that left hand. Let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you gotta think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27. The winner by unanimous decision, Colby Chaos Covington. All right, so there he is, the celebration.